want to uh, show this other D6 I just finished up. So this was brought to me by Terry Donnelly. So he plays with the Community Soul Project in Toronto. And uh, he brought this to me with a few issues that were passed to him from its previous owner. And so after opening it up, it appears as though that someone had tried to do their own refurbished job on this. And there were a number of mistakes that were made that I was able to fix. So let me talk about those. That If you're some, doing your own clavinet work, you can maybe avoid some of these uh, foibles. All right. So the big, big issue is that he, uh, Terry thought he had a dead pickup. And then the strings were buzzing. Okay, so here's what was going on. So if you take a look here, the strings are wound to go over this brass bridge rail, this rod here, okay? Um, and it's held in, tension, held in place by the tension of the strings. So somebody had tried to restring the clav themselves and they guess they didn't notice that the rod had fallen out of position. And so they actually, the rod was sitting de way down where the strings hook over into their pegs down there. So the, this brass rod, it also sets the string height. So uh, with the strings not going over the rod, they were instead going just like over the, the box of the harp itself, right over there, right? So what that meant was that the string height was all off. So that, that's some good string height there. But the strings were so low, they were practically touching the harp. And in fact, that is what was creating a lot of the buzz. We also had strings that were making contact with the lower pickup, making this pop. We also had the strings um, f much too far away from the upper pickup. So the upper pickup wasn't dead. Uh, it's just that it was too far away from the strings because every millimeter really counts. Uh, you know, you can see those, those nuts there uh, are so that you can adjust the pickup height. So it, it's very, very sensitive. And the strings being too far away uh, meant that we weren't getting real any signal from that pickup at all. Okay. Um, someone had also tried to change up the hammer tips on their own and they failed to clean out the old hammer tip gunk from the previous hammer tips that had deteriorated. And uh, they sort of just shoved these in willy nilly but at very uneven heights. And you want these to all be nice and flush to the channel so that the hammer heights are pretty consistent. So I reinstalled, took out all the hammer tips, got as much of the orange gunk out as I could with a dental pick, and then uh, reinstalled some new clavagel properly with the magnet mounting system. Uh, so those were the major things. Resetting the, the bridge rod um, and uh, getting those strings restrung at the proper height took care of all of our buzz, took care of the pickup issues, and that was great. Uh, getting the hammers all even means that we have a much more consistent tone across the keyboard. And then I've done some other things I did just as regular servicing, right? So I uh, got, got those keys leveled and then aligned all those hammers to be striking the anvils uh, right in the perfect position. Um, we also did a nice big scrubbing of the keys. Uh, I think I have some before pictures, so I can show you a bit of that. I also did a full clean out of the inside because the harp had been, all the strings and the gel and everything was taken out, I was able to really wipe down that harp nicely, get everything super clean. Uh, and then we also got the, um, the shielding box, which I've uh, gotten a bit of a system in building now. So that's nice. It's cut out so that the, the switches get in there nicely. I did a full clean of the switches too, just to make sure the contacts were good. And actually, I just decided to clean all the controls and the whole thing. Um, and so that's basically it. So it was a pretty big job, you know, uh, but it sounds amazing. And it definitely transformed the instrument because before it was really sounding quite sickly. So again, let's see if I can uh, get this on here. And Give this thing a listen.